Hello and welcome to RA Place Factorio C Block. This episode uh, 204. Uh, last episode we got these polished rubies. Um, and next up is gonna be uh, tungsten powder. So let's uh, let's and actually, so if I look at this, yeah, we're gonna be needing to make these. We do need to make it in an assembler, but we don't necessarily. I mean, yeah, we actually wouldn't need, like, we could do, I actually do think I like not making all of this at the top. That actually would ma make a lot of, make it very easy, right? If we just assembled some stuff, like, over here, and then we, we do the initial... Like, let's look at how much we need to get um, logistics network. Yeah, we, we have all the prerequisites, right? We just need like a hundred of each science pack. So the purple is already in line. So we can do just a hundred for the, um, for the logistics. And uh, then once that's done, first thing we'll be doing is um, like getting the robots in line um yeah we can we can start making these and we'll just use the first robots to bootstrap the system and then we can uh, yeah we can make them let's see we actually yeah so the second level ones do need the first level ones which is nice so we're just gonna start getting first logistics robots and then extend that a little bit so that's gonna be good this is going to be quite slow, but it's that's okay. That's, that's what it's here for, basically. Uh, you're out. We need a little bit more wood pellets, so let's go grab them. The, those are kind of a weak spot in this system. Uh, but yeah, 600 more. I'm just going to feed that into this chest. And that's going to be like this. This we can actually do with an assembler 2 over here. That's going to be pretty helpful yeah and we'll, we'll set up tungsten smelting and then we'll uh, yeah let's look into tungsten D over here nope over, over here yeah so tungsten powder is actually the thing we need yeah so we don't quite need that to get the plates or it's, it's an, a normal step in getting the plates rather so yeah, okay, let's uh, let's do this. These are all, so we'll make tungstic acid. We'll turn that into tungsten oxide. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Hydrogen chloride gas, I think we're already running over there. So let's just uh, see what what, and we should be good. We do have chlorine gas. Do we also have hydro? We have hydrochloric acid. Was that the one or is that another one? I think it's another one, right? Hydrogen chloride gas. Yeah, that's another one. Let's see. But do we also have that one? Oh, that's kind of sucky. Let's see. We don't have it by accident, right? No. Okay, let's just figure out if we want to make it on site or if we want to do something else. Hydrogen chloride gas. We're gonna make that by yeah okay this this is the way to go right so we could just like we could just chain up yeah we have access to hydrogen right here so we could just chain that up and uh, like we could actually just make a small like factory making it right here and then chain it chain it up i think that's the way to go so yeah let's start with a chemical plant like smack over here and you're gonna be making a hydrogen chloride yeah so we can separate them but we can also merge them back together yeah. so that's what we're gonna do in this case we're gonna bring wait this is this is not normal i sort of miss this works if we don't need to continue with this but we do in this case 
Let's replace the filter inserter over here and the power pool then over here. And let's copy this and then we're good. Okay. Um, you will need a little bit of room to, I guess let's see better over here then. Uh, yeah, let's craft some underground belts. Make a little bit of room here. And we'll, we'll vary this around like that. And let's actually craft a little bit of pipe because we're going to need more. Yeah, and actually, I'll just grab some iron. Uh, okay, I thought we were a little bit closer. Um, that's going to that's gonna help, help us for a bit. Uh, we do want to have the, the pipe. Okay, so we're going to do this and bring that up, bring this up and we'll have hydrogen chloride gas right here if we power this. Okay, that's going to be good. Uh, we're just going to run that this way um, and we'll, we'll make sure to uh, fix that up later or not we can also just uh, go ham with the bots but for now this is gonna be very very helpful let's see do we have here's our mega chest um yeah so this is okay we just need uh, a little bit of uh, underground pipe over here and then bring the, the belt up as well. Ooh, you guys are angry? You get to meet my plasma turrets. Let's see. Yeah, this seems fine. This actually should work. Enjoy. Um, okay, first step in this process is to make uh, this, which is tungstic acid which we can do in a chemical plant so let's do that um yeah we can do it like over here it's a little bit not not too neat but we'll make it work like this right so we'll yeah, we'll need a little bit more normal pipe to fix that up and You'll, you'll find me becoming a little bit sloppier with my builds as uh, the robots come inside. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need this. That's gonna be dropped over here. We're gonna do, we need to power this. Yeah, there we go. I'll pick this back up. Okay, so we're gonna have this come out and then have an inserter for uh, this side product which is calcium chloride let's figure out what we can do with that or if we want to do anything with that calcium chloride yes yeah, so it's used in okay in totally random stuff Calcium chloride. Yeah, okay. In, to make cobalt oxide. Okay, we're gonna just stuff this in a warehouse and uh, not bother. Let's stuff it in a brass chest, actually. Um, yeah, let's do it right here. Uh, actually, yeah, let's, let's do it quote unquote properly. Um, it's not really proper, but it's. Uh, it's basically, it's a way to make sure that that we, like this we can definitely replace by an active provider if we need to. Um, okay, next up is gonna be tungsten oxide, which is made in a chemical furnace. So let's make one. Um, yeah, let's check out how the polished rubies are coming along. Um, 
yeah, once we start making these, we need a ton of of every like we need 300 processing units so it's not going to be like nice to ferry it over but it's it's going to be workable let's see how are we doing over here yeah actually let's let's maybe set up the the in the machine that makes this right we can just do that um over here so you're going to be crafting this thing and in order to do that we're going to stuff some random things in here, amongst which is the... Yeah, let's let's just bring some stuff in. We actually have a ton of tin copper wire. Yeah, so it's it's just the tungsten powder that we need to wait for. So that's going to be real nice. Hey Bleb, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, let's see. So next up, we have we want to make uh, the tungsten powder. Um, so in order to get that, we're gonna need. Let's see. Wait, I'm a little bit too far. It's over here. So the tungsten oxide in the chemical furnace. So let's put that over here, should be fine. Does this thing need a chemical furnace? Does it need fuel? It does. Where is this? That's not chemical. Um, let's see, if we do this, it's electric powered. Good, then we'll just bring this over. And yeah, there we go. So let's power that. Uh, we're gonna get purified water out. Oops. We could chain that over here, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so let's bring that in. A uh, little bit of landfill over here. And let's chain that over. Um, yeah. So if we can get rid of the purified water, then the next step is going to be um getting yeah getting the i think the oxide into to powder is actually the next step so that's that's gonna be nice so we're pretty close to getting to the point where we uh, can make uh, at least the labs right so that's that's step one creating the labs and once we have that uh, we can use the purple science uh, but we can also yeah and then then we'll need to make the other stuff to get the yellow science as well but we could do the same thing right we could do all these setups where i just ferry everything over by hand for the first like what's it um the first like 100 science packs uh, and then we'll we'll figure it out later why is this backlogged That's, oh, okay, that's interesting. Let's uh, take one out and same for you guys. Is that gonna be better? Uh, let's hope that means it's not gonna backlog. Same for you. Okay, that's interesting. That's not really what we wanna have happen, but it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be interesting. Okay. So let's see. So we have gotten rid of our purified water. So this should now have a, yeah, it has a, a ton of tungsten oxide. Next up, we're gonna need hydrogen fluoride gas. I'm pretty sure that this is one of the gases that we have in our resource production area. See, no, not this one. See, powder. We need this guy. Yeah, so we need the hydrogen fluoride gas, which we can make with metal catalyst. Not really interesting. It's a byproduct somewhere. Um, it's 
Oh, we... No, wait. We get it when process and higher... Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, this is... This is, I think, the, um, the stuff we get. Yeah, this is something we have, right? It's uh, a byproduct of this. Oh, we can make it out of fluoride ore and sulfuric acid as well. And we have a ton of fluoride ore somewhere. So I think that's the way we want to roll this, unless we somehow happen to be running it somewhere over here, right? But I don't think that's the case. But I'm pretty sure we have a warehouse like up here with a ton of fluoride. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that's that's a fairly good amount of fluoride. So let's just ferry that over. We'll, we'll just do a couple. Um, yeah. So let's make sure we want to get this guy. And the other recipes are kind of shitty. So, yeah, so this is the one we need. Uh, we're gonna get fluoric wastewater, which is gonna, if we process that, we're gonna get fluoride ore back. Um, so, I do wanna set up a small loop for that. Um, and then, basically, what we wanna be doing is processing that into the fluoride gas and this we can make from fluoride or and sulfuric acid so the only thing left is to bring the sulfuric acid over which actually is over here um yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more iron in order to get more underground pipe um let's see the flu the sulfuric acid goes up to here but we can just continue that on that's actually quite close, so that's that's nice. Um, and we'll just ferry over the fluoride ore by hand, and once we have robots, we can automate that. We're we're gonna be a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go back to the old days where I would just bring everything over by hand for a bit. Except it's not everything, but it's just a lot that we're bringing over. Um, and once we have robots, then we're gonna get rid of that and uh, make sure that we actually uh, do, do everything properly again. Okay, so next up. Uh, we have some more underground pipe. Yeah, so what I think I want to do is just build it from this side. So first up is gonna be a chemical plant and you're gonna be making not this hydrofluoric acid hydro let's see uh, this one uh, we're gonna get some um, let's see some calcium sulfate on the way back I'm just gonna make a nice titanium chest for input and output so uh we're gonna do i guess okay maybe i'll i'll do one for input and one for output then that's just uh laziness um yep so leave a little bit of room for an inserter like this you're gonna be dropping over here um and then we'll bring this in yeah there we go so you're gonna need fluoride which we're gonna or fluoride ore which we're gonna bring in over here i'm pretty sure i was surprised like we got a lot of fluoride ore sort of oh no so fluoride ore also has a recipe right so you can actually synthesize it out of the the main ores and i was kind of surprised by that but i guess this is the reason right so this this acid is probably uh, consumed quite heavily uh, and uh, that's probably why you can make it uh, in that way as well let's do this and yeah actually so let's switch it around let's make this an iron chest and this a titanium chest and you need to pick up from over here yeah so we have hydrofluoric acid and we're gonna split that i think so another 
chemical plants over here. Let's just check it out. So we're gonna be making um, hydro fluid. No, wait, we have that over here. So is this? Oh no, this is the the other one. So we need hydrogen fluoride gas. Hydrogen fluoride uh, gas separation. Yes. So this is the one we want. So we can just bring in this from this side. Um, we're gonna have the wastewater processing, which I think is, yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Um, we have a hydro plant actually, so let's set that up. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Do we want to do that over here? Maybe we do, yeah, let's, let's do it like this. We're kind of encroaching on the lead space, but I'm not too worried about that. So the, the the advantage of this is that we can just, if we place this right, can we reach that? Yeah, that's going to be fine. Okay. So that means that you're going to be doing the fluoric wastewater. You're going to need some power. There we go. And then we have some purified water, which we can actually run down there as well. If we uh, may. Yep. So we'll, we'll just run that around and then the mineralized water. Let's check out if we have that somewhere. Like we could also run it down here. It's a little bit. I, we could just clarify that. I think that would be okay. So let's just set it up like that. Clarifier. Fire. There you go. It's nice to be able to recycle the stuff if we need to, but if we can't, then so be it. Um, so you guys are going to go like this. Yeah, and then we need one more to connect it up. And then we have... Did I cancel the clarifier or was that clarifier? Okay, like this. And then meanwhile, we can queue some more pipe because we'll, we'll need more. Um, yep, yeah, so let's go. Clarifier over here. Uh, give that some power. Uh, yeah, so we should be good here. And yeah, we only have the hydrochloric acid left, which we need in this step, right? No, wait, where are we here? We need in this step. So we're going to make the, the tungsten gas. And oh, here we're actually going to get our fluoride back as well. So I don't know if that's going to be how efficient that's going to be, but that's fine. So we're, we're going to need to do this in a blast furnace and this in a chemical plant. So let's um, just do it like this. Bring this down. Yeah, we can actually, if we do the chemical plant like over here. Yeah, do we want to run? Yeah, we can run like a small belt uh, like up here. And then back like this. Um, then let's craft a couple chemical plants. One, two, maybe three. We'll, we'll need some more in the future. Doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, let's get that one. And we'll bring that in. Hey Jackal Bros, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, let's bring this in. And we'll see. Let's see, what did we want to do here? We want to create like the tungstic acid. Yeah, there we go. The tungsten hexafluoride gas. Okay. So we have input, we have output, and in this case, the input is on this side. So if we move it up one more, I 
it's gonna be encroaching a little bit on this belt but we'll, we'll make that work yeah so let's do it like this so we have the uh, this guy we can actually just run it over here right yeah. so then we bring the tungsten stuff in from this side and we have an output pipe over here okay uh, yeah, and then this guy needs an output. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna bring you over here. Uh, pick that up. And use small poles still. Yep, so we've got the tungstick oxide going. This won't be going too fast, so we're good. Here we're making the hexafluoride gas and then next up is gonna be a blast furnace so let's see if we run the belt over here yeah we're gonna be okay i'm, I'm just gonna build this in a very much non-scalable way and we'll we'll figure out later like if we need to do something else uh yeah so here we can make tungsten powder then so we run the fluid in from this side um Actually, we need to move it down a little bit. Last furnace, like this. Yeah, that's uh, that's right. Um. Yep. So here we go. Uh, bring in some fuel, and we're gonna need to bring out the tungsten powder. Uh, yep. So that's gonna be dropped over here and i think let's see so i think this is actually gonna be uh collected in a chest as well let's make a nice titanium chest for it because in order to make it uh so to make it into plates uh tungsten plates we're gonna need to do this so we're gonna mix it with cobalt powder and make plates out of it. This is gonna be kind of high volume though. When we when we do the the yellow science, but I'm I'm not too concerned about it quite yet. So uh, for the for the labs we only need a couple. So let's let's do it this way. We're gonna make a nice amount of tungsten powder like this um we do need actually to yeah we're gonna get some fluoride out as well but we can just like ferry that over manually to this chest and, and be fine i think yeah okay maybe not that's uh let's actually set up a small like belt for that uh, filter inserter over here you're gonna grab the fluoride ore yeah there we go and then we'll bring that uh, yeah we do want to bring that around but maybe like over here let's make a yellow one and can we run that like this nope can we run it like this not quite Let's do it like this, I guess, and then bring this underground. It's a little bit nasty, but yeah, here we go. And then we can put another inserter right here. So we're at least recycling the bulk of the fluoride ore we're getting. So that's going to be okay. Like both from here and from there. Yeah, so we we will need a little bit more probably, but we can we can just ferry over a bunch from the big warehouse right now, and then we we should be good on uh, yeah on getting a bunch of uh, of tungsten powder right here. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna be real close to actually making some of those um, those lab parts. So yeah, let's just grab a bunch of fluoride ore, can't really hurt, unless it's too much to fit in the chest, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, yeah, so let's grab that 
let's go yeah that should be fine let's hope this doesn't backlog but i can't imagine we're winning fluoride out of this process that would be kind of insane okay so we have the powder uh we can grab that and put that down somewhere we have some cobalt over here so we're gonna probably make like the the powder mixing thing with plate over here then tweak that in um so that we can also make tungsten plate uh, but first things first we're gonna put some powder in here and we're gonna make a bunch of these um, we don't probably don't need too much for the labs right now but we'll need a bunch for uh, for later stuff let's see so for these we're gonna need tungsten plate and we're gonna need uh, some cement and for these we just need uh, the vertical particle injectors and for the rest it's it's just hand crafting hand craftable so that's that's gotta be good yeah so let's go get some of those tungsten plate stuffs so in order to get tungsten plate what's the deal uh yeah actually uh before we do that uh we'll continue on stream but i just want to make a cut for youtube uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks!